Hello everyone, this is Scott Weinkiewicz from Photocrati and today I want to show you how to use the new import-export feature in Photocrati version 4.6. So I have here a basic installation of the Photocrati theme. Um, it's using one of the built-in presets already. And you can see that it's, it's very blank, it's very, um, you know, it's empty. So the first thing that you would do, of course, if you were to install a Photocrati theme. Uh, if you wanted to use the uh, built-in preset and you wanted to use our default pages, you can just hit Create Pages Now. And then it'll, do, it'll create those pages and if you refresh the front page, you'll have all the new pages already in place. The home page is uh, converted to what should be a slideshow or any type of gallery. So what I'm gonna do real quick, just so that there's something there, I'm going to create a new Photocrati gallery I'm going to add images to it, and I'll just use a couple, uh, a couple images here. Let's upload those. Home gallery, and we'll make this a film strip. So you can see here they're starting to upload. Now I just picked some random photos from my, uh, from my, from my folder, but uh, you'll get the idea. This is really just to give you an example. That is done. I'm going to hit save gallery. It's going to tell me to update, and. Now if I refresh that home page, we now have a uh, nice slideshow here. Let's get that to load, refresh one more time. There it is. Okay, so there's our new gallery on the home page. Now, as you can see, it's got the new styling because the fonts are using the new premium fonts. Okay, if I go to a sample page, you can actually see the built-in WordPress sample stuff that um, comes when you first install a WordPress installation. If you go to the blog, it's, for, it's blank as well because that's just the hello world. The about page will be empty, the contact page will be empty, and your shopping cart will be here. Now, here's what is very neat. Um, let's close that and let's open up the customize theme. Now this is where you want to go ahead and actually customize your preset. So. This is what you would do normally if you were to purchase a theme, you would have the ability to customize everything. So let's say I don't want the background black, but instead this a light shade of this nice blue save the main background. Let's go back to the home page and now it's going to have blue here and top and bottom the footer and header are black. So we can match that. So we can go here if we wanted to, highlight that so we have the exact same color. Go over to the header and I'm going to go down to header background and then put in the new one, save that, and then let's go over to the footer. Oh, so let before I, I'm, I might be going too fast for you, but I'll just so you can know, if you are copying and pasting, make sure you paste it, go in, make sure that it's still the right color, and hit this check first to confirm that you want to use that for this field, and then scroll down and save that customization. Now if I refresh, the top and bottom will also be blue. The next step would be taking care of that menu. So let's say you wanted all of this to be like that, or let's say you didn't and you wanted to go to a one column so that not all of it is blue, but actually, yeah, I've got a nice little box in here. But we're gonna go back to here just for the time being. And let's say, uh, let's say we don't, we actually do wanna stick with a dark color. So let's say I wanna stick with a dark gray for the footer and then a lighter gray for the header. All of these that match that blue. And the next thing that I have to do is actually adjust this to match as well, and then of course text. So um, now this is obviously not the most attractive one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to go down to here, use Photocrati Range Finder. Um, this one's an interesting preset. It's got this nice wooden texture. Now, let's say you want a red background here, but you don't want the, the graphic, and you want to save that as a customized theme because you like the rest of it. So we go down here to the body. Uh, actually, no, I'm sorry. We go to global, and we don't want the wood. We're gonna remove that, remove the image, and we're going to go here and choose a deep, deep red like that, almost brick red. And we're gonna refresh this and it'll be 
that dark red. Now this is a really nice theme. This is a really nice preset. Of course, I would want to style this to match the body. So what I'm going to do, copy that, copy the, uh, the color, hex uh, color number, go over to header, and I want the title color to be that. So we're again, go in there, click to um, activate it, you know, save it for that one field, and then go back, let's refresh, and now we have a matching scheme. Now, let's say you want to do something a little bit more advanced. Check this out. Let's say you actually want to add a text shadow like this, right? You want to add a text shadow to that header, just the, um, the actual uh, title up here, right? So you want to add just a little bit of a shadow up there. Now this is not something built into the theme, however, because we have the uh, dynamic style sheet and the custom CSS, CSS options, which you see here, you can actually go in here and put in um, branding h1 and then I'm going to put in a script that was dynamically generated by the CSS3 text shadow generator and I'm going to hit save and this should update the title up here. Okay, so um, I had to refresh a couple times because the, the server where we host this site was caching the title up here but now I did a bunch of refreshes, I cleared my cache, and now you see here that there's a shadow at the top. All right, now what's really cool is now we can save this preset even with this custom CSS that we put in. Um, if for advanced users, this is a possibility, your preset that you save will include this, okay? Now there's, there's a wide range of fields that we do include, and but there, there's some that just aren't included. For example, the Google Analytics script you put here is not included in your preset, okay? That's not included. If you go to the gallery settings, again, a lot of these are included, but there's some that are not, okay? So the ones that would make more sense, for example, a gallery width or the colors, um, I'm sorry, not the gallery settings, the customized settings. Um, so these are all included, okay? The, the layout style, the background styles, the meta on or off, uh, music is not included. You go to headers, these are included. These are all included. The, the, the menu and logo position is included. All of these are included. All the font choices are included for drop down and the main menu and all the different body styles are included. So everything that you would expect to be included in the preset is included, but then there are some that are not. Now, here is uh, what you need to do to save your preset. So you've made your customization. You can see here, let's close this. We have the custom color uh, in the middle. We have the um, title matching the body. And then we also have the text shadow as well on the logo. What I'm gonna do here is go um, Photocrati demo preset. And I'm going to save current customizations. And that's saving this as a preset. Now you see here is update, delete, export, and use. So what's going to happen is if we hit export, you'll see it just created a .json file. Let's actually show this in the finder. So you can see here it created a .json. It's Photocrati demo preset .json. Okay. All right. So now I want to show you, okay, that we can even import a preset. So we're going to now go do an import. Go to do import is we go down here, import custom theme. We're gonna choose the file and we'll go to the downloads folder. Now, you see here that here's the one we just created. Here's a sandbox.json. And then here is a photocrati sandbox.crati. Now, the theme by default is going to export a .json file. But we decided to um, rename them for ourselves uh, for to keep the, our, our branding going. Photocrati Sandbox dot karate. Now, if you decide to do this, if you decide that you want to um, trade or sell presets for the theme, you're welcome to do so, of course, and you're welcome to change the branding for the uh, file extension. The file extension actually does not matter when you're importing. So we're going to go ahead and we're actually going to import the dot karate. So you can see that although we're exporting as a JSON, it, we can import as a karate. So we're going to import custom theme. And now you can see here there's Photocrati Sandbox and Photocrati Demo preset. Now what I want to show you is we're going to do use the Photocrati Sandbox preset. And now if I refresh, it's going to be a very, very plain template. 
and you can see here there's a little bit of formatting issues because of the settings that I had previously on the other theme, uh, on, the other, on the other preset, things are a little bit off. So to fix this, I, all I would have to do now is go to the custom theme, go to my header, and actually increase the header height slightly. So I'm going to go to 150 and see if this actually takes care of it for me. And looks like it is, yes, so that fixed it. So it's because this is so big right here, so it's so tall that it actually pushed it down. And there's different ways that we can get, we can uh, make that different so that the gallery will be up higher. But for this preset, that's pretty much what we had to do. Um, now let's say you actually did a customization. So you did a customization to the preset. Let's say you changed the font colors. Now this is the one that you just imported. All you have to do is after you make a change, click this update button. And what's that going to do? It's going actually going to replace this preset with an updated version. The other thing you can do is let's say you buy a photocrati preset from either us or from someone else that's creating it. If that um, designer updated their preset with a new version with some changes, all you have to do is re-import that preset as long as the files are identical and it will replace what was already there. If you want to delete a preset and then re-import, you can do that just by hitting the delete button and delete the preset and then it will refresh and it's gone. So I'm going to go back here to use Photo Karate um, demo preset that I just created. We're going to refresh and we'll be back to that color scheme with the red. It's as simple as that. It's very neat. Um, so that's, uh, that's pretty much how the preset system works. Again, it will export a .json file and it, you can import really any file type as long as it was exported by the theme and then you can rename the file extension to whatever you want. My personal suggestion, leave it as a .json for now and um, if you really decide to, to start selling, let's say you decide to start selling photocrati presets, then you can um, use some your own branding down the line. Uh, however, right now the presets do not um, import or export images that is on the on the feature list uh, for the future it's on the roadmap but currently you can only uh, make CSS custom CSS changes to certain areas in your presets um, so it will not export I mean you can you can make graphic changes of course if you're only using it for yourself um, but um, and this is good for backup of course but um, you cannot export or import images with your custom presets so always keep that in mind. Um, so yes, this is great for sharing, selling, buying, whatever presets for the Photocrati theme. However, it's also really good to just do a quick backup, hitting the export of your settings. So not only will it be on your server um, as a, you know, saved on your server where your website is held, but you can also export it, throw it on Dropbox, throw it on copy.com, throw whatever you save your backups keep it there with it because if something ever happened, you'd have your design, um, your the bulk of your design saved um, in one simple file. So that is a quick overview of uh, the Photocrati new presets feature, the import and export. I hope you enjoyed it and if you have questions, let us know.